Good morning guys from Convict Lake Campground. You gotta love the Sierras in the springtime. Is it really a wintry mix yesterday? But last night it you know, got cold enough and it turned to snow and we got probably uh, three or four inches of snow last night. So the campground host mentioned that the lake has not been fishing very well and that the creek has actually been fishing better. I uh, said you can't go wrong with salmon eggs and uh, night crawlers, but you know, I really don't want to uh, catch and keep. I prefer to catch and release. So I'm gonna try some little Panther Martin spinners. Guys, this water is crystal clear, and if there were fish in here, I'd be able to see them. I think everything is just not stocked enough. guys it is time to get back out on the road um, as much as I'm enjoying being up here in the uh, higher country there's a lot of stuff uh, down in the Bishop Lone Pine and Independence area that is uh, definitely worth checking out the smart move is to take care of filling up our tank and dumping our uh, tanks while we have access to them here at the campground Thank you. Glad we got that one on film. All right, and finally dumping the tank. In case you guys don't know, always dump your black water first and then dump your gray because the gray water is essentially soap and it cleans out your hose for you. Try to get as much of that nastiness out. Close the black, open the gray.
Okay guys, I'm down at the highway and I remembered that I need to fill you guys in on something. So that uh, generator that I ordered off of Amazon that was supposed to be here on like a Friday, well, it ended up being like a computer error and it's not gonna be here till like Wednesday or Friday, you know? So they had like a four to seven day mistake on their website. So they went ahead and canceled the order. So the plan is to hopefully be able to buy a generator inside a Costco because when Beck was in Alaska last week, she saw the exact generator that we have in the store. So it's not available online, but it might be in the store here. Those little general stores are nice, but they don't always have produce. And it's been like two weeks since I've bought produce. Now that's more like it. Well, mission accomplished, guys. I have uh, thoroughly restocked uh, my groceries. Uh, it is a lot warmer down here. Uh, 3,500 feet of elevation makes a big difference. I think I'm gonna be battling some heat in the uh, next five days. It's supposed to get up towards 90. Well, I've made it to uh, Pleasant Valley Campground. It's ran by the uh, Inyo County. And yeah, it's nice. It's like right on the uh, Owens River, but right across the street, there is a free BLM area that I wanna check out. So I'm of the mindset of why pay for something if you can camp across the street for free, as long as it's a decent place. All right, looks like I missed the first turn. Yeah, that is too sharp. Okay, I had to get turned around, but this is the free BLM camping area called the PV Pit, Pleasant Valley Pit, I'm guessing. Okay, I was incorrect. It's $2 per night, and it looks like spot 59 is gonna do the job for me because it's plenty long enough, it looks level enough, and I can pull straight in and back straight out. And what are the odds that this site is pretty much dead nuts level? All right, guys, I'm all settled into the campsite for the night. Not bad, there's a picnic table, a fire ring. All right, guys, thanks for riding along with me today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow our journey. And tomorrow I will uh, show you around the area. We'll see you then.